Hello, computer friends. Thank you for joining us on the Heat Vision Breakdown. I'm Patrick Shanley. This week, we welcome in Rampage director Brad Payton. He talks about the upcoming action flick starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, his deep love of video games, and the fact that he's seen Predator over 365 times. Yes, he knows the number of times he's seen Predator. I'm here with Rampage director Brad Payton. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, video games have a bit of a rough history. What was it about Rampage that you saw a film in? The thing that I took from Rampage was, you know, it was an opportunity to do a big, huge, fun movie that pays homage to the video game, but wasn't beholden to like a deep mythology. Like that's one of the things I think that a lot of video game movies have trouble with is the fact that you have so much backstory and character and mythology that fans are in love with. It's like, how much of that do you do? How much of that did they already know? How do you entertain them if they already know it? With Rampage, there was a lot of freedom to kind of invent that stuff. So I felt like I could um, pay homage to the game, give the audience what they wanted, you know, people that played that and remembered it, but then also just make it an original movie uh, and, and really have a lot of fun with it. You have to evacuate Chicago. George didn't ask for this. They're going to put him down. That's not happening. What video games did you play when you were younger? I mean, I think I did everything awesome that everyone else did, right? Like, I did Mega Man and Biotic Commando and Metroid. I had an original Nintendo. I was really good at Tetris. I actually got my name in Nintendo Power once. Cause of, wow. Because of a high score. Then I was like, oh, oh damn, like, I'm not gonna have a career if I just keep doing this. Then I stopped playing video games. And I went and I was like, okay, I gotta get serious, gotta become a filmmaker and do stuff. And then I did. And then I literally missed all video games between the original Nintendo and a 360. So I bought a 360 and was like, oh my god. <laughs> Where have I been? What happened? Like, I, you know, like, doot, 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 scrolling to like, oh my god, I'm on an alien planet. This is amazing. Like, they're so immersive. Like, I remember just like riding the horse through like a thunderstorm in Red Dead Redemption, be like, this is amazing. You know, it's my girlfriend, like, babe, look at this, I'm riding a horse through a thunderstorm. She's like, that's wonderful. Good for you. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> like, maybe you should leave the house, you know? So I love them, but I, I choose very carefully because of that. Otherwise, it's like, I'm not gonna work for two months. I like that you were like a cryogenic man who came out of stasis and were like, what is this world that I oh, found myself in? I was pure Encino man. Like, I was Brendan Fraser at the peak. Like, oh, what is going on? I'm glad that you brought up Encino Man because it is a wonderful, wonderful movie which yes. is often misunderstood. Sure. And the original idea was to have you come in here and defend things that may be misunderstood. Okay. But you named some things which are amazing like Predator, which is like one of yes. the best movies of all time. It is. What about Predator makes it so great? To anyone who is a detractor from Predator may not have seen Predator. Well, first of all, they should be shipped to an island where there's no food. Like, <laughs> why Why would they exist? Predator was something that I, I wanted to bring up because of one simple anecdote that most people are not going to believe, but I have seen Predator over 365 times. And I know that for a fact because when that movie came out, I had a friend who would record everything on VHS and I borrowed his VHS tape and I watched Predator one summer, literally every single day. Then, so I, I took that and I was like, well, that's a lot of days. And then I'd seen it previous to that probably 10 times. And then I've seen it after that a lot. So I know for a fact that I've definitely seen it for like a year. It's just kind of like one of the perfect movies. Like, it has all the one-liners you could ever want. Get to the chopper! The science fiction's amazing. The action's amazing, minus like a few like double cuts of explosions where you're like, even as a 10-year-old, you're like, oh man, I already saw the village explode from that <laughs> angle. You know, like, it's just so good. Were you inspired by it at all when you were younger, or what Predator? did you do? Yeah. Yeah, so as a kid, my friends used to come out and we used to, we'd go to the mall and we'd buy like toy guns, and we would go out in the woods and we would play Predator. It was literally like the game we called it Predator and I'm directing them as to like where the Predator is, like who got shot, you know like oh no you just got shot in the leg and then everyone would like act out the parts and you were like in it. So Predator was you know it's a big it's a big influence that's from a pure youthful passionate place and just to bring it back to Rampage for a second, I got really excited because we have a sequence in the woods with a special forces team, with Joe Maginello. And when I talked to Joe, I was like, dude, do you like Predator? And he was like, oh, I love Predator. And I was like, <laughs> yes. I was like, it's one of my favorite movies of all time and I have a sequence in this movie 
that is like Predator, but with this giant wolf. And he's just like, I'm in. Which I felt really great, because Joe's a pretty big actor, and the role wasn't like a massive, massive mm -hmm. role. So I was like, I finally get to make like a bite-sized version of Predator in this movie, so. Dreams have been accomplished. It's true, it's true. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe below or watch any of our old episodes right here. I don't know where they put that thing. Yeah. <laughs>